as much students in this as anything else. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only difference between us and, and, and anybody else is like a stamp collector. A stamp collector might know a little bit more about the stamps and the person licking them. We know a little bit more about ghosts than maybe you do. Yes. But we don't sure have do. <laughs> we don't have that wealth of knowledge. We don't mm -hmm. have the answers to the other side or, or the universe, right? And you don't bust ghosts. No. That well, is I, not what you do, right? I don't know how you can throw them up against the wall, you know, and say, get out. <laughs> mm -hmm. But there them. are psychics and mediums who, who will say, <laughs> I'll come into your house and clear it. You have somebody lurking in the right corner, or if you feel somebody over you in the night, I will come and psychically clear the space. I think there are some people that are able to do that, but I think there's an awful lot of people that aren't, and people need to be careful about that because these people charge a lot of money and are doing nothing but mm -hmm. scamming you. And how do you really know? I guess it's a, I see, I always think it's a feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You feel, as somebody, even if you don't see, like you saw a gold ball. Right. But did you feel something? Oh, absolutely. It was, it was, uh, uh, it was predisposed by, I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, before I actually saw something, I felt something. Uh, and pressure. It was a, it was a distinct, mm -hmm. it was a distinct feeling uh, uh, that accompanies usually something before you see it. Uh, not right. in all cases, but I mean, uh, I've seen an awful lot of things, you know, even from through childhood, but that one particular right. thing I brought up was what connected me with Vancouver sure. Paranormal because I figured, gee, I wonder if anyone else has had this kind of experience. And I just happened to look on the uh -huh. internet and there was Vancouver Paranormal, so that's how I got, made the connection. But I've had lots of things happening in my house right. uh, long before I got hold of Vancouver Paranormal and became part of Vancouver Paranormal. See, uh, I'm not very yeah, visual. Yeah. I don't see, but mm -hmm. I feel. And mm -hmm. it, it's, well, it's degrees, of, degrees of sensitivity and degrees of awareness. And I mean, right now I know there's a boat out in the water there, but m m most people wouldn't be right. conscious of that, right? But I can feel the boat moving on the water that I'm talking sure. to you. So, well, remember Jay Z mm -hmm. Knight who cha mm -hmm. who channeled Ramtha, and one day, and I don't know if it's true or not true, but mm -hmm. she wrote lots of books about it, and uh, Ramtha talked through her, and she was really at some point ordinary housewife businesswoman mm -hmm. and suddenly this person comes in and she's inhabits considered, considered her, a medium a medium, a medium yeah. and I remember thinking I'd love to do that mm. <laughs> it's never happened to me or maybe I wouldn't because mm -hmm. you want somebody else inhabiting your body I don't think so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. unless they're friendly how do you yeah. know how do you know if it's Casper the friendly ghost or an evil ghost or do they come in those degrees they do actually um, um, Let's talk as though I absolutely am telling everybody in the whole wide world that the ghosts exist. Okay, I let's believe, do that. And you're, I know the jury's yeah, out for you, even yeah. though you do this work. Yeah. Okay. We have been to places where Marlena's house, for example, is, is we've sat at Marlena's house and watched things just lift themselves off counters and, and launch themselves onto the floor. And we'll just sit there and look at them and go back to doing whatever we're doing. I mean, it's kind of weird now, because after you go send it for almost a decade, <laughs> not a lot phases us. Mm -hmm. But we've been to places where people have been bitten, slapped, punched, kicked, pushed, shoved down, had their hair pulled. We saw a young girl actually get a bite mark on her finger just right in front of us in a place in Surrey, and the family was moving out that day. That's the, only, that's the only reason they led us into the place, was they weren't going to stay there anymore. You know, it was like, we're not staying there, you can come. Well, plus, yeah. you check yourself into the emergency or something, you say, a ghost how did you, How did you get this? Yeah. How did you get this? Yeah. Right. They must think you're completely <coughs> whacked. Well, you know, uh, it's, um, it's, oh, it's... I think everybody believes a little bit in ghosts, even if they say they don't. Mm -hmm. why, do people, uh, why do people who say they don't believe in ghosts or anything else, why do they always leave a hall light on? They don't want to go down the hall without a it's light true. on. I mean, yeah. people have certain... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, instinctive feeling about all this anyway, but to openly come out and say they exist for sure, we, that's why we're here. Well, often when somebody departs, goes to the other side, uh, lights will flicker. Sure. Yeah. And you think, yeah. who did that? Did we? Absolutely. And the practical in us suggests well, that there was a power surge. If <laughs> you think, no, <laughs> don't if, think so. If, yeah. you and, grandma. if you and Marlene mm -hmm. and I got into a dugout ca canoe right now, and we all paddled down the Amazon River for, you know, hundreds of miles. Mm -hmm. And we all backtracked into the, the dense bush and found a, a tribe of um, 
<coughs> Can we stop for coffee? No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> we, we, in the Amazon, I don't think so. But let's say we, we found a little village full of people there, mm -hmm. and we chatted to them, and we didn't understand their language, but we, we spoke to them about ghosts, and, and we were able to speak about what that was to us. They have a word for ghost. And they may ne never... In every culture. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. and they may never have, have seen a Stephen King movie or mm -hmm. read a, a book by Clive Barker or anything like that, but they will understand what you're talking about if, if you talk about a ghost. I've been in the old growth forest, really deep in the bush, and I don't know what it is, but there's spirits coming off the trees or something. Spirit it is energy. A, yeah. Spirit en is yeah. the strangest mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah. It's a fabulous feeling, mm -hmm. but you think, hmm, I'm not alone here. Elementals, we call them. Elementals, yeah, and the natives uh, believe in elementals, yeah, for sure, yeah. and they believe in uh, the uh, some depends. Uh, that's a terrible generalization, but you know, th there's dark energy and light energy in places where you want to be, in places where you don't want to be. Everyone, I think, has had the experience of walking, if you're at all aware, walking into a space and thinking, "I'm getting out of here now." Absolutely. Or. This is fabulous. I'd like to stay mm -hmm. here forever. For sure. That's what I'm like on every ghost hunt. I like to sit in the scariest places and just be with myself. Well, who sees ghosts? Which one of you? Well, we both do. You we, both see we, them. Got, we actually saw one at the same time. Yeah. At White yeah, Rock White Cemetery. White Rock Cemetery. Yeah. I yelled at it because I thought it was one of our guys screwing around. Really? <laughs> and I said, my God, I just saw a ghost. I mean, I actually said I just saw a ghost. It, was that, it's it that wasn't a complete solid. person. It was solid to me. Yeah, it was. But I like, yelled at it. Yeah. And then I looked, at, and then it just disappeared. And I looked at Marlene, and Marlene was like, yeah. like this too. So we the were both gob, looking at the same smacked. thing. Yeah, gob gob smacked. Smacked. Yeah, That's I love word. that word. That's my <laughs> word. That's not use you it. You can't use it. She's she's from Wales. <laughs> right, right. Where are you from? I'm from Vancouver. You're I was from born, Vancouver. My, born my here. Grandfather came here in the 1890s. My family grew up here. Okay. Well, then I've 